Good morning, everybody. Jessica Brill here. I'm here with Everyday Inspiring Women, and I am so excited to be talking to my friend Sarah Keating this morning. I met Sarah last summer. Uh, she attended one of our tribe events, and she has been a regular ever since. And definitely the one thing I have noticed with Sarah is like her energy is just like crazy contagious. And, you know, every time I'm hanging out with you or we're chatting, I'm just like, whoa, like I get so like amped up because, you know, your energy is through the roof. Um, I'm, I'm telling myself it's an age thing and I'm just older and slower and, and, you know, not quite as energetic as you are, but, um, but definitely. And I think um, if you're watching this, you're going to start, you're going to feel her energy right, right through the video. Um, I wanted to have you on because um, over the few, last few months, I've gotten, get to, gotten to know you better. And you are doing so many things, and I was hoping that you could talk about some of them, let us know a little bit more about you. And um, one thing I, I do notice for sure, like you're a woman of action. Like you're like, oh, I want to do this, and you do it. So I think that's a really good, it's, it's true. It's a really good quality. And I think a lot of people are like, oh, I wish I could do this, or I want to do this. And then they don't take that action to get it started where, I can't help but notice that you're definitely uh, in that in that action category. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. So what I missed, tell, tell us more a little bit more about you, Sarah, and then um, and then we'll uh, we'll get into some questions. Awesome. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, so yeah. So Sarah, hello. Um, so I do a whole bunch of things, like Jess said. Um, but my main um, focus at this point in my life is running an education program uh, for a charity, uh, um, or runs me. I'm not really sure what who runs who. But um, so I work for the. Island Bird Observatory, um, and I uh, run the education program there, so I'm the education coordinator. Um, we are a free in-class program that offers um, avian um, education to students pre-K to 12 across Windsor, Essex. So it's a really uh, dynamic job for me, and, and something that I really like to do because I get bored sometimes, but with that position in particular, I get to do uh, a different class, different school, different topic every single day. So it keeps me on my toes. Um, a lot of prep work for sure. Uh, but it's something that um, I really kind of created on my own, of course, with the help um, of, of a couple of people. Uh, but, you know, it's something that I've kind of created. And it's a bit of my baby. I take a lot of pride in it. Um, so, you know, it's really encouraging that um, I can go out and talk to students and talk to our youth, get a good sense of what is happening in our community community, not just on like a nature level, but just kind of on a social level. Um, and for me, that's really cool. Uh, so that's my daytime gig. And then um, every other waking moment, I, uh, I run a little side hustle. Um, so I run um, a on location craft service called Easy's Pie DIY. Um, we are Windsor Essex first on location craft party service. I like to just yes. add that little tidbit in. Um, and uh, we do chalkboard art. Um, we're moving into paint wood signs and, and pillows and stuff. So it's really exciting. Um, it's just a really great creative outlet for me to, um, to just share what I know. I'm a teacher by trade. So I love to teach people. I love to boss people around really. Um, <clears throat> but also it gives me a lot of social um, social uh time that i don't really have because i do work from home yeah um and so um i'm able to go out to people's homes and they are you know able to uh like interact with people which is what i really like to do and talk about things other than my real job so um yeah so i do that and then in between there i just like to um try new things hang out and um i'm new i'm i mean i'm relatively new to the area and so um one of the reasons you know why i came out to try for that first time was because I, I was missing, you know, friends. Um, and so it's been really nice, especially with Tribe in particular, um, to like have this like positive group of friends now. So, um, you know, in between um, my education program and uh, my side hustle, I've got now these really good friends and I'm in a, like a super great spot right now. So it's pretty awesome. That's awesome. I love, and I think about it too, from the, your day job where you're interacting with children um, all day from home and then you know with with the DIY you're interacting with, with mostly women I'm, I'm, I don't know that any men maybe one or we two have one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
but like mostly uh, adult women at night, right? So it was a bit of yeah. that that contrast too. Yeah. And you know, what's so great is that, um, with both of my jobs, the one consistency is that I'm talking to different people constantly. Like, there's nobody who I see on a regular basis. And so what's really nice is that I get to hear different snippets of people's lives. Um, whether it be over like a drink of wine at a DIY party, uh, like girlfriends are talking about like experiences they've had, or I'm talking with a student about um, an experience they had in nature it's just really fulfilling for me to be able to hear these people talk about their lives because I am one of those people who I like, I like to learn. Um, <laughs> and I, I learn so much from people just talking about their experiences, even children. And I think that, you know, not a lot of people really put enough value on the things children teach us. Um, but some of the biggest lessons I've ever had um, in my life are from the work that I do with children um, and, and kids in, in particular. So um, it's just, it's really fulfilling for me to just hear people's um, like little snapshots of their life. And it's kind of cool because I do get that. I, I do have like a unique perspective because I don't know them. I can't really judge them. <laughs> so I can just hear the, uh, the information that they're giving to me yeah. and just kind of interpret that and see where, where that resonates with me. So it's super cool. So, but it's not even just talking with the kids, it's listening to them, right? Like I know with my kids, they just want to feel heard, listened and heard, like listened to and heard. So when you can offer that to them and it's not just you already thinking, you know, things, which, which you do, but going into that with the perspective of, of listening and learning from them, like who, who goes into an interaction with a child who thinks I'm going to learn something from them. Not most adults. I don't think anyway. Yeah, and I think that it's a cool experience for the for the students and for the children because um, a lot of the time I approach it in a sense where I um you know I want to listen to them I want to understand their experience or their story, and they have no idea what to do. They're like, wait, what? You're gonna listen to me? I I have I, and it's really cool because then you know it kind of just reinforces the idea. Yes, you have something to offer. I want to listen. Um, so you know it's it's just a super cool experience for me um during the day as well as night, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. So what brought you to Essex, Essex County, Windsor in the first place? How'd you get here? Yeah, great Why question. Here? Um, yeah. Why am I here? So I actually grew up in the Guelph area, um, born and raised in Guelph and then went to school Waterloo. Um, while I was doing my undergrad in uh, University of Waterloo, I was in a co-op program. So um, I was actually interning at the International Joint Commission, which is um, the my national agency responsible for managing the Great Lakes. Um, so I worked there downtown Windsor, um, moved here, didn't know a soul, uh, and being the person I am, really needing that interaction, um, I joined in an adult softball league. Oh. I have no idea how to play softball. It was the worst, worst idea. idea. I don't even like softball. Like I'm afraid of the ball. Like, I'm afraid to hit the ball. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I know. I'll just do this. No. So anyways, um, first game, um, I met <laughs> I met a, a man on the softball team um, who is now my boyfriend who I live with. Um, so we uh, met the first game. Then we promptly quit um, <laughs> the second game. <laughs> no, just kidding. But um, so, yeah. So, um we kind of just started our relationship and then um, I graduated high, uh, not high school, real school, adult school, university. <laughs> and, uh, and then the choice came to whether I, you know, um, stayed where I was and found a job there um, or I came back. And I really felt at that time in my own life, um, it was a good opportunity to just like jump full in with the relationship. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, worked out well, <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, he's your partner. Um, he is so, your partner in crime in the in for your evening hustle too, eh? Right? Yeah. So he's so great. Um, his name's Rob, and he is really patient with me. Um, when I first started my DIY business, um, I had no idea how to even use a power tool. Like, I literally bought a saw, and I was like, "So, how do you use it?" I like no. Um, and he is a actually he's actually a glass blower. Um, so, uh, he's a professional crafter and, uh, so he's got a lot of experience with things like tools and, um, like measuring stuff, which is, um, really neat. Cause I actually learned a whole bunch from him and it was a good experience in terms of just our relationship because I, I actually had to listen for once and not talk at him. <laughs> so it was a big learning curve for me. Um, but it's been so helpful having him and, um, you know, it's kind of neat now over the dinner table, we talk a little bit about, oh, can we make that work? Can we do the stain? Can we, um, like it's so it's, it's nice. We have our own little like shop doc. It's kind of cool. <laughs> that's awesome. That's really good. 
so I, I think I sidestepped your story a little bit, but uh, so then you guys met and now you're living in Windsor, Essex. Yeah. So I live in Walkerville. I love the area. Um, and yeah, I live here and then I also work from home too. So this is my home and my workplace when I'm not in classrooms. So, so funny. So one of my questions I love to ask is around themes, but you know, if I could really interesting for me about you is that you are so brave and you are always putting yourself out there. Like, who, I don't know many people who are going to join a softball league who <laughs> don't know anybody going, hey, I need someone to join this league with me or to, or at least they're going, you know what, I'm a confident softball player, so I want to join this league and meet people. No, you're like, I need to meet people. How can I do that? How can I make this happen? And you freaking make it happen. And you did that. You started a Tell us, you started a meetup, like, and that's how you started yeah. meeting people and yeah. you, you come to tribe. Like you're just constantly, like I said, action taking, putting yourself out there. Tell me about your meetup a little bit. I'm, I think that's a really important piece. I think it is, but like, yeah. We'll so, right um, yeah. So I think about a year ago, uh, or maybe actually more, I think like a year and a half ago, um, I was kind of back in the same place that I was when I first joined that softball. I was I was finally living in Windsor, you know, I knew my, my way around. I finally was in my career, but I was looking for something outside of that. I wanted some girlfriends that I could just go grab a drink with, you know, living with your partner is awesome. I love it. But you know, you need that separation time. <laughs> you need a point where you're like, I'm going out. You stay here. Don't yes. bother me. <laughs> um, and so I was at the same place. So I said, okay, what can I do to create something um, that, you know, is like kind of, an environment where people can just come and go. It's super casual. Um, one of the things that I really, I, I actually have a lot of social anxiety. Um, I have to work through that a lot. And one of the things is that um, when I go to a, a meetup or I go to some place where there's interactions with people, I can, I can tell the vibe right when I walk in. And if it's not super casual and like not super kind of open, I don't feel like I'm super genuine to people. I don't feel comfortable enough to talk to people and tell people my story, which is one of the reasons why I love Tribe because it's super casual. So that's kind of just how I wanted it to go. And, um, and so from there, we started the Women uh, Windsor Wine and Gourmet because I love to eat and drink. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, so from that, I, I kind of developed a whole bunch of different relationships with different women and kind of odd and roundabout ways, not even necessarily just the actual meetup itself. I met some really good friends just, just talking, talking or just them like, hey, I'm looking for this relationship and I'm, I'm not sure. And I'm like, hey, yeah, me too. Like, let's just talk it talk it out and then you know we go for coffee and and now we're friends um so you know I find um especially with things like that and I have a I have a like a lot of social anxiety but I kind of rely on my past experiences looking at okay I joined an adult softball league and I literally bought a softball mitt or a baseball mitt. Like I showed up with a baseball mitt because <laughs> I had no clue how to play and it turned out awesome. I mean uh, you know, I went to tribe, turned out phenomenal. So I just kind of um, rely on my experiences of, of really great experiences to just kind of push me through and say, okay, it's, it's turned out good before and just try again. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes it doesn't turn out great. You know, just have a laugh and move on. But, um, you know, for the, for the most part, you just got to rely on those experiences that you, you did have. So yeah. So that's kind of with, with the meetup there. Um, just, I'm just, I like to talk to people. <laughs> That's awesome. I think so. What would is that part of your self care, or what would you say? Because you're you're busy. You're busy with your day job. I know how busy you are with uh, your with your side business, uh, and it's just busier, busier, busier. You're like, I see your post. You're like, um, I'm I'm booked for the next two months. I'm booked solid for the next two months. So if you're interested in after two months, let me know. You know. So how do you take care of yourself? Like, are you scheduling time for Sarah, or how's that going? Oh yeah, that's such a great question. And actually really came up for me this week because, um, you know, I am one of those people who uh, I easily exhaust myself and I don't really keep track of myself and it, it, I have to put a lot of work in to like self-regulate and check in with myself and say, okay. Um, but this week in particular, um, I had a whole bunch of girlfriends on Facebook posting stuff about self-care yourself included. 
And um, I kept seeing that and it was almost like a visual reminder to me like, oh yeah, I'm not really taking care of myself. I'm not, I need to like schedule some time in. I can't cancel my meeting with myself again. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I've been, that's something that I do struggle with, but um, I've been really kind of um, trying to take a step back. So for me, um, it's really just because my, my, both my jobs are so social. It's really just like taking some time to like sit in a bath with the door locked bottle of wine and a face mask <laughs> you know what I mean like just like a great talk. night <laughs> yeah no it's great right? um so I think too is that um working at home has its challenges it's a blessing but it also has its challenges in that I can't leave my work anywhere it follows okay. me home <laughs> and it's double because I've got two so um so like even just like removing myself from the space I'm in so going out for dinner so I can't do a chalkboard or going out to, um, you know, tribe or something. Um, so that's for me, what, what helps the most is either, um, I guess it's like on two different sides of the scale, but leaving the house and being social with people in a, in a not, in a way that I don't have to be a customer service person. Yeah. Um, and then also just kind of taking time to be like solitary and alone. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, well, that's, uh, yeah, really good examples. And knowing what works for you for self-care, because sometimes it's going to be that nobody talked to me all night long feeling. And sometimes it's like, I need to be the real Sarah and uncensored because you have to obviously yeah. censor yourself with the children and you have to censor yourself with the parties. Like you're showing, you're a businesswoman, right? So it's like the real Sarah out with friends and then Sarah just by herself. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. good. That's important. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, it's just so nice sometimes just to be, able to like swear in front of your girlfriends and like you know just talk about the things that are going on at home or like at work and it's just you know it's I think like the best thing to have is to have girlfriends or even just friends in general who you can talk about anything with and they don't really know like there's no consequences behind that you know what I mean like when you talk to a coworker about your boss there's implications there. But like when you have girlfriends or friends just in general that you're just like, okay, so this is happening. They yeah. can just offer advice or just listen. And it's so nice because there's no consequences. It's like going to confession, but right. <laughs> but it's good food and a glass of wine. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I, I love themes. Like we t I talked a little bit about the theme that came up for me about you, but what would you say for you is a theme that you keep kind of, is kind of reoccurring right now? Is it the self-care theme yeah. or is it something else that's bubbling up? Um, I think, I definitely think um, I'm, I'm more focused on self-care right now, but in a kind of a, um, a more focused way. Mm -hmm. um, last week when we did um, our Tribe Harmony, we, we went through those six um, kind of categories that we talked about. And for me, what kept coming up was my environment, my space. Yeah. Um, and so for me, because I work at home, I live at home and I do two jobs at home, my environment, my space is different things based on the different time of day. So at like 11 o'clock at night, my house is just my house. But in the middle of the day, it's a business and a charity. So it's, um, it, for me right now, what's coming up a lot is just trying to figure out how I can go about organizing my house so that I can, I can make it that um, when I leave my work, Mm. I can leave it mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of a hard thing if you don't work from home it's kind of hard to understand but um, if I if I'm at home um, just on a Friday night day off or whatever um, I still see paperwork for my job which stresses yeah. me out <laughs> yeah so I, you know I'm and I'm still in the works of this but trying to figure out some way where I can put it away so I visually don't see it um, and, and I think that's going to help me a lot. And then also just, um, you know, with, with the season of spring coming out, like I really just kind of want to make my space more, um, like just more clean. Um, and I, I think being organized for me is really key. And I, I think over the winter I lost that a bit. Um, so yeah. So for me right now, um, self-care is also just organizing and like figuring out how my space is going to work for me. Um, and you know, I think that's important too, is that, Self-care for me personally, isn't always just like 
relaxing. Um, Self-care for me can all, also be like super therapeutic, throwing stuff out and like feeling good and organized and clean. Um, and I'm like super comfortable with that. I, I don't mind doing work as self-care. Um, and I think before this year, I kind of struggled with, okay, self-care has to be me sitting down doing nothing. But it's, that's not a reality, right? And so, um, you know, just knowing that when, even when I am like doing chores or like organizing something, um, it's going to, it's going to make my life so much easier. And that's, you know, caring for myself in that sense. So, um, yeah, I think really just at this point, the environment and the space that I'm in and making that work for me in a way that works for me and realizing that since my life is so crazy that conventional things probably won't work and I'm just gonna have to figure it out um is definitely something that's kind of top of my list right now for sure ah so that's so good and thank you for saying that because I think it's so important like we're told what is self-care but but I think that's kind of oh I hate that oh ugh, me too well if you're if you ever listen to the tribe harmony you heard my rant but but it's like it's called self-care for a reason it's what do I need to care for me? Not what anyone else tells me what it is. It's, I know when, I know it's self-care when it's filling up my cup, when I feel refreshed or revived from it. And there's yeah. nothing like a good purging session to make you feel like, oh, like that decluttering <laughs> feeling. It's so good. Yeah. It feels yeah. good. I feel that. I feel you. I feel you. It's like a pain, but when, once you're done, you're like, oh, yes. <laughs> totally. Oh, that's so good. How can, so how can people get in touch with you, Sarah, if they want to find more about the, uh, your, your day job? So with the charity stuff that you're doing with children in schools and education locally and, or some of your, you know, I need to do a craft show with you like a DIY night because I've done the chalkboard and it was so much fun and you were so good at uh, walking everyone through it. But I'm looking at your bless this nest pillow and I'm like, I think I want to do a pillow. Just <laughs> so, how can people get? Yeah, in touch? Um, for sure. So, um, if anybody wants to get um, in touch with me on social media, um, I'm uh, Sarah Lynn on Facebook. Um, if anybody's interested in our education programs um, with the Peely Island Bird Observatory, you can either get in touch with me on Facebook or um, through our website. So, we have a full website. Um, it's just education at pbo.ca. Um, and then uh, we do have a business page, um, Easy as Pie DIY. Um, so if anybody's interested in learning more about that or just has questions, you guys can send me um, a message directly. Um, and that's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. I got Perfect. A lot of I'll include those those um, the links in the sh in the notes for the video as well, okay, so that awesome. they can just click so on them. Sarah's day job, Sarah's side job. Sarah, just <laughs> how to get in touch with Sarah? Okay. <laughs> Oh, so good. So I want to leave on, I love motivational quotes. I love um, really good books. Is there something, do you have a favorite personal development or motivational book or just a book in general that you love that inspires you or like a, a, a quote that you like always lean on or go to? Yeah. So actually I'm, I prepared, um, I brought two of my favorite books because awesome. I'm so, I'm such a teacher. Um, nice. so, uh, this one is the best book of my life. I've reread it probably like 10 times. Um, it's you're a badass by Jen Sincero. Um, and it's literally like, it's my Bible. Um, she just kicks your ass and she's like, just do it. Just do it. Um, and this is like one of the books that actually convinced me to just go ahead and do my business um, and just go for it. Um, she's so matter of fact and plain that it just, it just really resonates with me. Um, I, I'm, I have a potty mouth and I just don't like when people sugarcoat things. So to yeah. read something that's really like authentic and just like, just do it. It's yeah. like, okay, I'm a rule follower. So I just kind of listen to her. And then this one I'm reading right now. Um, it's called, uh, get your shit together by Sarah Knight. Um, Get closer. Oh, that, that's good. Okay. Yeah. She wrote, um, I'm going to swear here, but she wrote a, a book called no fucks given, uh, oh, a guide okay. to giving no fucks. Oh. Um, and it's a really good book. And this is the yeah. second one. And just kind of like, it is encouraging you to, um, stop putting yourself in front of yourself, if that makes sense. Yes. So when you decide oh, yeah. you want to do something, don't let yourself stop yourself. Just, just 
do it, go for it. And don't think about it too much because you're going to find a reason not to. Um, So these two books, this one right now, but this one and just in general have really, really helped me kind of um, like get out of my own way uh, in a sense and just say, okay, I'm going to do it. We'll deal with it after. So yeah, these are definitely two of my favorites and I would highly recommend them. (laughs) Oh, so good. I listened to the You Are a Badass and it is, um, I'm having un- unstable connection here. Okay. I listened to You Are a Badass on Audible and Jen Sincero narrated it. It's so good because oh, really? it's her, yeah, it's her voice and she's funny and real and all those things you mentioned, but I'm like, oh, it's, it was really cool because her voice lended so much to her own book. It was, I've listened to it a couple times too, but I'll have to check out that other one. Really good. That. And yes, getting in our yeah, own no, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's- God. Yeah, it's, and it's so, it, I think you'd love it because it's just swearing every other page. Like, you turn the page, there's swearing. And I was like, yeah, Jess would love this. <laughs> so real. I love it. So real. <laughs> oh, awesome. Sarah, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to meet with me today and talk. And I'm, I'm so inspired. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's just really cool to have friends like you. I feel the same way. Okay. (laughs) I'll talk soon. See you, girl. Okay, bye.